Welcome back to the channel, everyone. With the release of the Suicide Squad, it's time to rank all 11 DCEU films on a tier list. But this tier list isn't going to be like A, S, B, C, whatever. Uh, it's going to be what I was talking about, the eggs. We're going to be ranking them by eggs. I know, pretty stylish. Anyways, yeah, you'll see the rating system. Uh, I don't know it because I haven't made it yet. But yeah, anyways, uh, our first uh, movie is Man of Steel. Coming out in 2013. Christopher, no, not Christopher. Zack Snyder made this movie, right? Uh, my favorite director, actually. Uh, Zack Snyder made Man of Steel. And Man of Steel, first time watching it, uh, I didn't like it. And I never watched it a second time. But after thinking about it, and this happens a lot with movies. They get better and better when, once I think about them. I don't watch movies, like, re-watch movies a lot, but... Uh, Man of Steel, I plan to re-watch because it's just a really good movie. Once you think about it, like, there's so much importance in this movie. DC did something that, like, Marvel didn't do. And most people, like, they get mad at DC. They're like, oh, DC's too late to the game. Oh, DC is trying to do what Marvel did. They're not trying to do what Marvel did. They're trying to do something new, something cool. And what they did was they made it more real. And I know comic book movies aren't supposed to be like all real and stuff. And like, not all of them have to be, but when you have a few that are more realistic, I kind of like that. I, I actually really like realistic comic book movies because it's like if a person or if a man came to Earth, or alien, whatever, and had like the powers of God, what would the world think of it? We wouldn't all be like, ah, simple fact. Well, I mean, when the Pentagon UFO is spotting those, no one really gives a rat's ass about those. But to continue, if Superman came to Earth, I don't think everyone in the world would just accept it like, oh, we got God on our side now. Like, there's always a chance if he turns evil, the world's gone just like that. So this movie brings that into perspective and Zack Snyder brought that into perspective. I can't say that word. But uh, yeah, he brought that and I feel like that made a real good movie. So uh, Man of Steel gets that to go in the golden egg tier. This movie's awesome. It's not like officially perfect or anything, but I do love it. I love what Zack Snyder went for for this movie. Next up, we have Batman v Superman, and this ain't your normal Batman v Superman. We don't really include that one. We include the Ultimate Edition because that is the real version. Now I know most people will include both versions, but there's 11 DC movies in the title, and I'm not gonna scratch that. So. We're doing this 11. Uh, anyways, yes, uh, Batman v Superman, the ultimate edition, that is. Uh, most people, and hey, Marvel fans, they don't like it. I'm a Marvel fan, and I actually love it. <laughs> no, uh, Marvel is all right. But, uh, yeah, Batman v Superman is actually a really good movie, in my opinion. I really, it's like, it's just a continuation of Man of Steel, like what I said. Superman coming to Earth, and people having their own opinions of, is he a god? Well, yeah, well, I mean, he is a god, but is, could he turn bad, or will he be good forever? And it's like, you don't really know, so, it's, and Batman has his opinion on that, so, turns out to make a really great movie. They also introduce Wonder Woman, and they kind of give us a sneak peek of, of some of the Justice League characters, which I thought was perfect. I do love this movie. I thought all three hours went by like, yeah. Overall, I, I really like this movie, so I'm gonna put it in the scrambled egg tier. <laughs> I thought it was a great movie. Next up, we have Suicide Squad, the 2016 version. And well, it's nowhere near as good as the Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a pretty bad movie. It, the acting, I mean, when you go to Jared Leto's Joker in this movie, it's pretty bad. I have to admit, the dialogue sucks. 
But hey, um, David Ayer is saying that it's not his cut. Warner Bros. took over, and I, I, I didn't see that because this movie really is rough. I, it is pretty much garbage. The villain, the Enchantress, is that her name? I hope so. I hope I didn't say it wrong or anything, but yeah. <laughs> this movie sucks ass. This movie's going on the crack day tier. It's so bad. I Terrible DC movie. I'm sorry, DC. But yay, it's Warner Bros. fault. Uh, next up, we have Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman, yeah. Uh, yeah, Wonder Woman is just a solid movie. You know, I, I like what they were trying to go for. I love, like, war-like movies. I, like, 1917 is one of my favorite movies. I love Jojo Rabbit. I love, like, war movies. And Wonder Woman was a superhero war movie, so I'm like, whoa, that's gonna be cool. And yeah, it was cool for the first two acts until you got to the third act where it just kind of fell apart. You know, you get you got like your big bad villain, let's have a CGI fight, and it's just, it's really rough. They could have made it like an actual good ending. Like, movies have done a big CGI fight at the end a lot, and I get really mad when they do it. WandaVision did it. Uh, and the rest did it. Like, there's a, I mean, they always have to have a CGI fight to please the fans that just want to see fighting, and how I understand that. But come on, those guys can suck a dick. What we really want is an ending that sure as hell can have a fight, but I want an ending that really works well with it. Like, Loki did a really good job. Doctor Strange had fighting, kind of, and it was talkative, but I, I mean, I don't like Doctor Strange. I like the ending, though. And when it comes down to Wonder Woman, I feel like it could have been settled a lot better with like the war aspect than having Ares, the god of war, fighting Wonder Woman. I don't think that fits in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, and Wonder Woman's going in. Uh, since I like the first two acts, I'm gonna put it in the uh, fried egg here. It's still a good movie, you know what? Yeah. Next up, we have Justice League, other known as Justice League 2017. <laughs> the more people know it is Justice League. Uh, this movie really sucked ass. Like, the joke's terrible, you know? You got that s sex joke, so much of them, inside of this goddamn movie. Because Josh Whedon thinks, oh, Flash landing on Wonder Woman's boobs is hilarious. <laughs> oh. Why do we have to have such bad directors? I don't know. It, it was a really bad um, movie. I, I must say, uh, the dialogue, absolute garbage. Them destroying Zack Snyder's vision might be the worst part about this movie. Because you compare this to Zack Snyder's Justice League and you're like, holy shit, how did we get Justice League from that? Like, the Flash going back in time is probably the best scene in Justice League, and they took it out to make Flash push a truck. <laughs> I think you all know where this movie's going. Crack egg tear, lol. <laughs> Next up we have Aquaman, and Aquaman is a pretty solid fan. I, I liked it, I thought the colors were cool, I thought the costume design was cool, fight scenes were great, they were a one shot, really well choreographed. James Wan is a great director for action. I've always loved him for, yeah, action movies. I feel like he should continue with the Fast and Furious movies, but hey, Justin Lin, look what he made, F9. Everyone loves that one, right? <laughs> and Fast and Furious 4, yeah. Okay, enough with Fast and Furious. Aquaman, James Wan is really good with action, I must say, and this movie is perfect with its action. Uh, I think they went to Hollow Earth in this movie. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's all right. Yeah, was it all? Maybe it was. <laughs> it's a pretty solid film, so I'm gonna put it in the Friday tier with Wonder Woman. Next up, we have Shazam, and overall, Shazam was a really good movie. And I probably would have put it in the 
top tier if the movie didn't end so poorly. I think the whole family getting the power kind of ruined it. Like, it just felt so dumb and so, like, last minute. And I, I hate that because it's like Shazam is one character. His family doesn't all have powers. It's, it's really dumb to me. But oh well, screw it. Let's make it anyways. And yeah, that's that's how it came out. I yeah, just not a big fan of the end, but like the first two acts were really actually good. <laughs> like I love them. Another thing I love about this film is um it was really different from like Aquaman. And I love DC that way. I love how every single film is different from the last. And Shazam really switched it up. It's kind of like the Spider-Man of the DCEU. But I don't want to compare that to Marvel because they're very different. And of course we know the superior one, Shazam. Yes. Anyways, Shazam gets to go in the scrambled A tier. Good job, Shazam. Uh, next up we have Birds of Prey and the Fabulous... Fabulous Intimation of the Harley Quinn. I don't know what the fuck I just read. But anyways, Birds of Prey is, um, overall, it's a really shitty movie. But when you look in deeper, I think the fight scenes, uh, the, yeah, choreograph, I guess, uh, whatever it is, uh, the costume design, the lighting, the set design, the acting is terrible, but I'm sure the cast is pretty good. So, overall, I think this movie was going for good intentions, and it looks really good. I think it's very different from Shazam, the last movie. I, I, I love when DC kind of makes different movies, that's why I love DC. Uh, but, yeah, it's a pretty shitty movie overall. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm not gonna put it in the crap tier. See, I'm putting it in the hard boy way too, so it's alright, I guess. It still is my favorite one, but it's very different, which is what I like about DC. Next up, we have Wonder Woman 1984, which sucked pass. Uh, yeah, sadly, I, I probably don't like this one. Yeah, I like Birds of Prey more than uh, Wonder Woman 1984. Wonder Woman 1984 just took everything that you could possibly imagine and put it to garbage. <laughs> and no, it's, it's, it's just a really bad movie. There, you could have done so much cool stuff with this movie. You could have made an incredible movie. And the best you got is a dude who grants wishes and uh, bringing Steve back was so dumb. He died. And I'm like, oh, maybe there's be a good plot point. Nope, garbage. <sighs> Such a bad movie, and the visual effects sucked, I must say. They were trash in this movie, and I know they were going for 80s vibe, but if you're gonna go for 80s vibe, at least make the music 80s. I didn't hear any synth music at all, only in the trailers, so suck my ass, Wonder Woman 1984. You're going to the cracked eggs here. <laughs> Next up, we have Zack Snyder's Justice League. Incredible movie. Uh, I, I absolutely love this movie. I thought it did everything that Justice League should have done. And it is the original version of Justice League. It's not a Frankenstein movie. It's just a four hour fan service. And it is perfect in every way. You might say, oh, four hours way too long, but for the fans who wanted this, they wanted this since the first movie came out. Well, the Justice League 2017. They wanted it. And I think four hours of wait, or like four years of waiting, all adds up into four hours. I think the fans deserve this one so much. Yeah. So don't say anything about it being too long. It's perfect the way it is. And I love how Zack Snyder wanted it to be 4x3 black and white. It wasn't black and white, but you could watch it like that. Everything he put in made it just perfect. And there was even more that he didn't put in, like Green Lantern. But, hell, I don't care. This had Martian Manhunter in it and Joker. Like, it, it was just perfect the way it is. This movie, I have no 
problems with the movies. Sure, some CGI is bad, but screw it, I don't care because this movie was built off the fans. So, you can't say anything about this movie. It's going in the golden egg tier. Perfect movie. And we come with our next perfect DC movie. The Suicide Squad. My god. This movie was everything I wanted. And it just, it, it breaks my heart that we won't get another DC movie like this for so many years. It, it really makes me sad that well, we just won't get a movie like this for so long, because it's like if Quentin Tarantino directed a DC movie, and sure as hell, Quentin Tarantino, I think, is done with making movies, so... It's kind of sad to me that we won't be getting another awesome DC movie like this, but how I know we're getting the Batman and, like, Black Adam and The Flash, but still, I... This was the movie I wanted so much, and it was so well done, so well made. I'm, I'm, I'm actually sad that James Gunn is going back to do Guardians 3. I, like, I'm like, screw Marvel, Get, it's, it's done. It should have been done after Endgame. You should be wrapped up with everything. It had a perfect, it would have been a perfect ending like that. And you should just let James Gunn go with DC. Like. I want to see a Suicide Squad 3, I want to see him do like a Rat Catcher spin-off, I want to see all these movies. And I, we're getting Peacemaker, like a show, which is fine, but it's kind of sad we won't see any of these characters come together again, maybe for like, almost a decade, half a decade maybe, I don't know, it's kind of sad to me, but anyways, the Suicide Squad, of course you've heard me said, it's a perfect movie, costumes, lighting, a uh, music, cast, acting, di like the director, <laughs> love him, did the Scooby Doo movies. Everything about this movie is so good. So it's going into Golden Egg tier. Perfect movie. Love it so much. Anyways, thanks for watching. And please, leave your lesson in the comment section down below. Uh, tell me what's your favorite DCEU movie and what's your least favorite DCEU movie. I gotta say, if the Suicide Squad is your least favorite, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I will. <laughs>